Well, hello and welcome to the Go Wild vlog. Today is Wednesday and I am currently at daycare with this guy. This is Rupert. I have not shown him on the internet on the, the vliggity vlogs. This is Rupert, Mr. Ruru. Um, yeah, we are at daycare and he is gonna go in and have a great time today. <laughs> I'm actually picking him up a little bit early. He loves daycare, unlike my last dog, Doyle. If you guys know, you know. Um, but yeah, so he is into daycare, and he's actually going to get a bath today, too, because Grandma's watching him while I am in Dallas, Texas. And yeah, so I kind of have the day to myself. Haven't packed a thing, so that's fun. So yeah, I'm just going to take you along with my day. I'm going to meet up with Ryan. Uh later on this evening so we can go fly together. I don't know why I did that, but we're gonna walk and then we're gonna fly. <laughs> oh, I'm losing it. But it is currently 7.14 in the morning, so I'm gonna go get this little bad boy checked in and um, go home and finally pack. So if you enjoy packing, watch this video because I'm gonna show you all the things I pack and my process. He's now bored and wants to go in so i will see you guys in just a few minutes well hey i'm back i'm still in the car and uh rupert is now at daycare because he's very very excited he loves this place anyway um totally forgot to today uh i got a new car um some of you may remember that my other car did not look like this um and this is like a little doggy seat I got on Amazon, so the dog sits up front with me. Anyway, um, I got a new car recently. Um, I think I posted that on Instagram. I can't remember what I posted on Instagram anymore, to be honest. But anyway, got a new car. My other one kind of died. Um, I had a Toyota Corolla for many, 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 many years. Literally drove it into the ground. I was just uh, sick and tired of paying very, very, very large fees for that car. Um, when I say fees, I mean like maintenance. Um, this year, I had put already five grand into it and then found out only like three days after it being in the shop, after like another like $1,300 fix, that there was gonna be another I think almost, they said the the, um, the new repair that was needed was an additional, starting at $2,400. And I'm like, eh, what? <laughs> and they said it could go as high as 6,000. And I'm like, no, we're not doing that. Like I've already put in so much money to this car. And then there was like no guarantee, obviously, that like it would last. And it was like a 2009 Toyota Corolla. So I was like, you know what? I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'd already sunk five grand into that since January, so I'm like, you know, we're not gonna do that anymore. And uh, yeah, got rid of that car. Someone else has it now, and um, they're fixing it. Not me, I'm, I'm, I'm out, right? Um, now I am in a 2024 RAV4. It's a very large, um, so much bigger than I'm used to, and it is like a spaceship. It feels like a spaceship because Again, I'm just used to driving a 2009, so. <laughs> this is all brand new to me. So I'm still getting used to it, feels weird, and I'm a little higher up to the ground, which is nice. So I actually wanted to get a RAV4 back in, back when I purchased my last vehicle, but it was just way out of my price range. So um, now I have this, so yeah. Anywho, um, I am gonna go home. I have to run a couple errands this morning. I need to go get gas in my car and what else do I, I need to go somebody or somewhere else before I go back home I can't remember anyway I'll remember on the way but anyway I will see you all when I get home and we will start the packing process oh my gosh <laughs> all right see you then well hi whoa my phone's going off hmm. I wonder who that is let's see oh it's my friend Megan she found an old fit photo of us. Hang on, let me show you. I'll show you me. I won't show you Megan because she's not on the internet. <laughs> Look at me. Ah! <laughs> this was at like a Girl Scout camp. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, hi. So it is sometime later. I have just had a quick lunch and I am now starting the packing process. And then after I'm packing, or after I'm done packing, 
it's time for a shower because your girl needs to shower. So anyway, I have it like set up in my room here. Oh, the crickets are real, guys. The crickets are real. Let me turn the crickets off. All right, let me turn you around. I'll show you my setup. I made my bed. My mom's sleeping here. Um, and then I have a bunch of blankets all folded. And then here's my packing cubes. And then I have my two suitcases set out. So here's what I've packed so far. Um, these, these things were not on my list of things to pack. And I'll show you my packing list in a minute. So this is all of, not all of, but some of the Go Wild bracelets that I've made for everybody. I put them in packs of 10 in little baggies, and um, I'm going to be dropping those off at tables where people are sitting on day two of the conference. So they're all different. Some of them say Dallas, some say Go Wild, some say PGW, um, some say Texas. Um, I don't know. They all have different sayings. Anyway, and then... And here is a Chrissy and Designs tumbler for Ryan. And then I have the straw down here. And then in here are all of my, um, what do they call Table mate gifts. So this can be kind of like smushed a little bit more. And over here is more of the bracelets. And like, they're just packs of 10 because there's 10 people that sit at a table. And then, you know, there's just, they're all different. They're all different. Some of them, I, I made a lot of them that look just like this, that are just, whoops, let's see, focus, that just say go wild and are purple. So, yeah. Anyway, so there's that. It's a lot. I do have the majority of my clothes ready to go. Like, they're right out here and I just need to pack them. And I think if I go over here, this, my closet's a mess at the moment, but this shirt, um, and I think my pants are behind that. I'm going to wear that on the plane, but then I got to figure out, like if I open up this closet carefully, there's a lot of stuff in the closet. I need to figure out what I'm going to do because, so in Dallas, it's supposed to be like 80 degrees I think today tomorrow like low 80s upper 70s so I think I'm gonna bring this denim jacket but I'm not sure what else I also have this sweatshirt it's like very very thin sweatshirt that I have and then I also have this like zip up fila thing so oh and the reason I say this is because the rest of the week is going to be quite cool but um, the reason I'm saying that is because I just don't know. Like when it comes to conferences, like we're indoors the majority of the time. So I mean, obviously we have to like go eat and stuff too. So anyway, I don't know. Um, actually, let me show you my packing list. I have not finished it all, but we'll, we'll just look at it together. So here's my packing list. So I usually just separate it by day. So like Wednesday is today. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday, there's definitely two outfits because there's planned JAMA. And then Sunday. And then I have like a list of my makeup I want to pack. And then a list of my toiletries I want to pack. And then I have some of the toiletries out already. Like they're all right there. And I'm drinking a Coke right now because it's about lunchtime. So it was time for a little caffeination. So this is what we got so far. And I like put checks in front of the things that are already right there. And then all of these things are actually over there, which now the closet is full and my dog's toys are everywhere. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't all need to be aesthetic, right? So anywho, um, I'm going to get to packing. Before I start packing again, let me show you guys my lanyard which I kind of messed with last night because I wasn't sure what to put on there. So, hold on, hold on, here we are. All right, so Go Wild um, for the last couple of years has done this thing where they actually send you your lanyard and ID badge beforehand. So, um, I figured I would put things 
on here because I just love stuff. So I'll tell you where all the things are from and a lot of this stuff is old so you might not be able to find it anymore but this is from Simply Gilded. It's just a little, I think the character's name is Juniper. Yeah. And then this is from, this is Tisa. And it's actually the same saying that's on, oh, you can't see it anymore, but on the black shirt that was over there. Um, so I have a shirt that says the exact same thing. Come on, come on. Okay, here we go. And then I have a Go Wild Dallas Disco Ball and this Go Wild Texas. And these are both from the sticker party, I believe. Let me just double check. Yep, it says the sticker party on the back. Sunshine on my mind, that was from Erin Condren. Um, this little boot, I actually got two of them. Um, I, I purchased this a couple of months ago, like anticipating Go Wild, and I thought I had not purchased one, but then I found the other one the other day. So anyway, I bought two of them. So I'm just gonna give one away to somebody that comments that they like the boot or comments that they like my pins. So anyway, I got that at um, either Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I can't remember. My Wild University from Wild with Plant, or what? Wild with Planners, wow, Planners Gone Wild. This is a pin that I got at the 2019 Go Wild that was in Vegas. This one is the one for this year that we got in our little badge box, so it's the Go Wild Dallas. And then this one also, these are all like wild for planners. They don't have any markings on the back as to like who produced them. Um, and then this one was for Go Wild in Austin, Texas. That was the first one I ever went to and I went totally by myself and I had an amazing time. And then I have this little unicorn crown flower. I think it's a dumpling actually. Um, but this is from Wonton in a Million. And then I have my beloved Caddict, hashtag Caddict pin. And this is from Chrissy Ann Designs, one of my favorites. So anyway, that is that. And yeah, we're gonna keep, keep on going. Oh, and then let me show you some other things here. So we are going to, when I say we, I mean Ryan and I are going to a couple of different events and we are going to attend, oops, there's a tortured poets department listening party and um, it was encouraged to make bracelets. So I have some and they just say TTPD on them. So I have some like silver, silvery white ones and then I have some colorful ones. And then the colorful ones, there's a couple that say Swifty on them. I just used whatever kind of letters I had. So yeah, and then um, also they asked for extra bracelet making supplies. So I just am going to bring some extra bra bracelet making supplies for people um, if they want to make bracelets. Um, I'm not going to be making any bracelets, but I figured I would drop off some supplies that I don't need. So yeah, and then we're also going to an Erin Condren event. It is for the like EC squad people. And um, this is also Friday from four to six, and this is at a different location. But um, I pulled out some of my ones that said go wild. So I have some of those for them. And then also, um, it's kind of hard to see, and I'll show these better, hopefully, within like the vlog. And these all say, EC squad on them with the kind of signature turquoise bead with, um, it's not white, it's kind of like more of a pearlized uh, bead. So anyway, thought those were kind of cute. And then also I made some Chrissy Ann Designs bracelets and I'll show you what those look like. Hang on, this one, whoa, hello, says Team Bold. And then this other one, which I really like this one the best, but Kristen said she likes the Team Bold one the best. This one says CAD, and it has like all the bold colors on it. So I actually messaged her and said, hey, I have these for some of your tables. Um, do you mind if I pass them out on day one of the conference? Or would you rather me, you know, wait to do that? And she's like, actually, if you want me to put them with the design of the table, I can do that. So I'm actually going to connect with her on Thursday night while they're setting up tables. And then she's actually going to set these out for anyone sitting at those tables. So I'm so excited about that as well. And then I just have some fun rainbow ones that say go wild. Just some Lucy's goosies. 
and then I've got some extras for some friends. So anyway, that's that. I've yammered on way too much. I need to cut some of this out. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get to packing. Um, I just need to put stuff in packing cubes at this point and don't mind, happy birthday, Rupert. It was his birthday. Um, don't, don't mind that. I just think it's so cute. I don't wanna take it down yet. Um, but yeah, I gotta figure out the whole like jacket situation because I know if I don't bring something, I'm gonna get cold and I'm only bringing um, those two like long sleeve options that are right here. So I don't know. I just feel like I need more, you know, like I need, I need more in my life. So anyway, I'm gonna get to doing the packing cubes and then I will show you my suitcases when I am done slash almost done. So I'll be back. Okay. So I'm hot and sweaty and I'm done packing. So let me show you what I got. First bag, looking a little sad, but that's okay. So the only thing I added is like, um, these are all my like socks, bras, underwear, things like that, and then my lanyard. Um, so everything else is the same in here. And then I have some extra things in here. That's it for here, okay? Don't judge, it's gonna be okay. In this bag, we have pants in one bag, tops in the other bag, so we are good, as well as those like extra like sweatshirt and zip up thing that I have. And then over here is kind of a hodgepodge of things. So I have all of my toiletries in here, makeup in here, and then all of my extra bracelets. And then we've got snacks because snacks are a must and I don't really want to pay for snacks when you're at a hotel. And then over here, I've got my like clothing that I'm gonna wear today. And then these shoes, these Adidas um, kind of lavender sneakers are what I'm gonna be wearing for the duration of the weekend. That's it for packing. I know there's a whole lot of space in that one, but we get so much dang swag that I need extra space, okay? So like, you know, don't worry about it. And my battery's about to die because I've been yammering on too much, so I'm gonna load this footage before I go because I'm gonna take a shower now and um, get going. And I think, I'm not sure the next time I'm gonna see you, but I'm gonna see you very soon. We got there. We're on the plane, and we are in the front row. Look at that. First class, front, front row. So we have leg room, which is nice. <laughs> Ryan can even cross his legs. Look at that. Uh, yes. Yes. Can I have a whiskey ginger, please? Yes, that'd be great. Thank you. Uh, do you have wine? Oh, I've got a wine. White. Yeah. Bracelets. Should be a good play. We're gonna drink. We are currently waiting for our chariot, aka a courtesy van. Ryan, Ryan's on the phone. We are staying at the La Quinta Inn tonight. I think that's how you say it. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, we're staying there tonight, and then we're gonna go to the regular hotel tomorrow and join in all the festivities, but he's on the line. Yep, four, three. Getting all the info, and uh, we will be at the hotel very soon. Okay, great, thanks so much. Had a good flight, less than two hours. I watched The Office, and uh, Ryan watched, what did you watch again? <laughs> Drop Dead Gorgeous. Drop Dead Gorgeous, because it, who's Drop Dead Gorgeous here? Well, both of us, obviously. Obvi. Uh, it's like a Minnesota cult classic that's not aged it's well. It's so good. But like, <laughs> who's in it? Denise Richards, Kirstie Alley. Kirsten Brittany Dunst. Murphy, Kirsten Dunst, Allison Janney. Like there's all these really Isn't Amy people. Adams in it too? Maybe. I think that's her. Yeah, so like, it's a- So like, many good people. It's in like it's so rural good. Minnesota, and it's just like a yeah. big old Minnesota is it, joke. Is it New Ulm? No, Mount Rose. Mount Rose. Okay, anyways. Welcome to beautiful Mount Rose, Mount Minnesota. Rose, don't you know? Anyway. But yeah, we are waiting for our chariot. It will arrive at some point, I think. Uh, Ryan, think on, what do you... They said they're on their way. Oh, they're on their way. Here. Okay, well... Me and my new... We are gonna um, go to a different hotel tonight, and then tomorrow we're going to the, the real hotel, and then we're gonna do the things. So yeah. <laughs> we're, 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 we're vibing. We're vibing. <laughs> Someone had some wines on the plane. Someone had some doubles on the plane. I had a double. A double pirouette. It was a double something something. 
If I felt more ambitious, I would try one right now. I don't feel that ambitious. No? No, there's a lot going on. So, anyway, we're gonna wait for our chariot. <laughs> Ryan is gonna have a good time. But, um, <laughs> you did, you did a double something. Anyway, but uh, we'll see you when we get to the hotel. We'll give you a grand tour. Hello, <laughs> we are in the room. We had a few failed attempts, but we're in the room now. Circle. Yeah, we did a little circle, it was okay. Anyway, welcome to the room tour of the place we're going to be in for less than 24 hours. And they have a breakfast in the morning, so we're very excited about that. From nine to... From six to nine. Six to nine. Something about nine. I don't know. I remember the number nine. That's all I know. There's a closet. I came out of one a while ago. Yeah. Ryan checked if there was any bodies in there, and there is not. Happy to say. Uh, bathroom situation. No bodies in the tub either. In the tub. No, nope, no bodies in the tub. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, y'all. There's a little coffee situation over there. Um, I'm sure there'll be coffee in the morning, too. And then we've got two beds. And there's like so much room. Like, so much room. Dope's beds. <sighs> You're twirling, girl. I was twirling. I don't know, like, I gotta test out the bed for, you know. Ugh. Let's see. Yeah, the bed's all good. You giving a review? Yeah. Okay. It's not horrible. Not the best, but not the worst, you know. Just wait until you have your crickets. It'll sound delightful. It'll be even better. You guys know about my sound machine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, we do know what you're saying. I know, my sound machine. It's, if you know, you know. So anyway, Ryan is uh, putting his electronics on the thing. I just put my phone on the thing. Tomorrow, guess who's vlogging? Becca! Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Um, so check out Ryan's channel next time. I don't know how we're loading these. It'll be after Go Wild because we can't we can't handle the pressure of that. We did that, that. One year, didn't we? Oh, I think yeah, so. And we were sending them out while we were there. Yeah, but the Wi-Fi at the conference place always is horrible because everyone's trying to get on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, we're on the internet. So you know, us and our internet streams, we just don't know how to handle it all. So You've been in Texas for less than an hour. I have, but I've been, you know, libations and things. So <laughs> yeah, true. You, you you've been drinking. <laughs> I've been drinking. And so has he. So I'm gonna close up the vlog here because there's nothing else to report. We're not gonna do anything else. We're literally gonna go to sleep and then. I'm going out, see you later, bye. Okay, well, Ryan's going out. He can start his vlog now. How's that? I am not going. <laughs> Cause it's what, like 11 o'clock or something yeah, at night? 11.07. 11.07, okay. At midnight, he'll start his vlog. How's that? Ryan's gonna talk to you guys tomorrow. I will see you all tomorrow too. Good night. And uh, we'll see you then. Toodaloo! Well, folks, it's, it's time, time to, to kick, kick it old school. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.